Hello, my name is Nenad Popovic and this is a presentation of our paper entitled Electrocastogram and Electrocardiogram Interference, Application of Fractional Order Calculus and Savitsky Golay Filter for Biosignal Segregation. When we talk about biosignal processing and analysis, we need to have in mind that human body is producing a lot of dif different electrophysiological signals. We have electroencephalography, regenerative from the brain. Most commonly used electrocardiography, the signal that represents electrical activation of myocardial muscle. Less commonly used electrogastography or EGG is the signal that originates from the smooth muscle of the stomach. For us, it is very important because our research is based on interference between electrogastrography and non-standard electrocardiography. We also have electromyography, that is signal that originates from skeletal muscles. Often we face problem of signal interference between the electrophysiological signals. For example, when we place the electrode on the abdominal surface for EGG measurement, we will measure clear EGG signal, but of course we will have some interference, most commonly from ECG. If we see the signal on the slide and zoom up one part, we can observe clear R-wave peaks. The question is, should we consider this component of the signal as a noise and just cancel it, or as a source of additional information? Our idea was to test the technique for segregation of EGG and non-standard ECG that are two basic components of uh, one uh, signal like this. And our method was based on the combination of fractional order calculus and the savitsky golay filter. Because of the complexity of the recording of these signals for this preliminary research, we used semi-synthetic signals made out of recorded EGG and non-standard artificial ECG. We also added the white noise for the more realistic signal. Fractional calculus is an extension of ordinary differential calculus. It is basically differentiation with non-integer value order. On the figure on the left side of the screen, you can see the derivatives of linear function with different orders, and we can observe that with increase of fractional order, the signal is uh, more and more going towards the constant value. Fractional derivative performs high-pass filtering, and if we see the picture on the right side of the screen, we can see that with different, of different fractional order, we have different characteristic of corresponding high-pass filtering. savitsky golay filter is a digital finite impulse response filter used for data smoothing. It is based on polynomial function. And for us, very important, it preserves significant high frequencies, unlike the other most commonly used averaging filters. Because of the application in which we want to preserve some high frequency, we decided to use exactly savitsky golay filter with combination uh, of fractional order calculus. Research workflow was that after we generated semi-synthetic signal from recorded EGG and artificial non-standard ECG, as already mentioned, we tried to segregate EGG and non-standard ECG. So, for the extraction of EGG, first we use fractional derivative and then savitsky golay filter. We try all the combinations from different fractional orders and different window sizes for savitsky golay filter. On the contrary, for non-standard ECG extraction, first we use savitsky golay filter and then fractional derivative, also with all the combination of different window sizes and fractional orders. After we obtain the signals, we evaluated our method by calculating signal-to-noise ratio of corresponding signals. Also, as mentioned in the previous slides, we tried to make the signal more realistic by adding white noise. 
and after that we again obtain the results by repeating the same workflow. So on the upper panel we have results for EGG extraction of the semi-synthetic signal without white noise and on the bottom panel with the white noise. The main conclusion is that window size of Savitsky Golar filter is crucial and window size of 999 milliseconds was optimal. Also, we didn't expect that the impact of different fractional orders was not very significant. Only thing that we can observe is that with first order derivative we have very low signal to noise ratio, so it is not recommended for this application. For non standard DCG extraction, we had uh, two different results for the signal without with white noise and with white noise. Without white noise, we had no benefit from Savitsky Golay filter. So basically, the best signal-to-noise ratio was obtained when only fractional calculus was used. On the contrary, there was a clear benefit from the combination of savitsky golay filter and first-order derivative with the more realistic signal with white noise. To answer our question, is segregation beneficial? We can see on the image in this slide our semi-synthetic signal. And with this method, we managed to extract clear EGG, a gastric saw wave without peak potentials, very suitable for further analysis and for parameter calculation. Also, we managed to extract non standard ECG in very suitable manner. And in this presented signal, we have visible and automatically detectable R peaks. So one signal that is very suitable for heart rate calculation or heart rate variability signal. This wasn't the last step of our research. We want to do a study based on in vivo recorded signals. Our plan is to perform measurements on the group of healthy volunteers in order to obtain database, which will give us opportunity to do much more research and analysis and to have uh, much significant conclusions. Thank you for your attention. If you have any additional questions, suggestions or comments, feel free to contact us.